How's it going folks? You're on the Tyrish Sun. And this week we're back in the wonderful little city of Hua Hin. Now the attraction we're going to go and see today is about a 10 minute drive north of the city. But since it's such a wonderful day, I thought we might start by taking a little walk on the beach. So let's go. Nice day today, not too windy. And the tide's out a little bit. If you saw my previous videos when I came to Hua Hin Beach, the tide was always so far in, I couldn't really have a walk or anything, but it looks like we're going to be able to today, which is great. There's an interesting sign. Now, when I was living in Phuket, they brought this rule in, where if you smoked on the beach, you get a big old fine. Now, I don't know if they're really being that strict with it, but look at that. Smoking on the beach is prohibited by Thai law. 100,000 baht fine or one year imprisonment for violation. 100,000 baht is about two and a half thousand euro. A little bit more actually, maybe two six, two seven. Buddy cab. No, it's okay, thank you. There's, uh, it's quite rocky on this beach, as you can see there. And I went for a swim a moment ago, and um, I'll show you in a minute, but anyway, my feet got attacked, my ankle's bleeding, but I'll live, I'll live. So it's a cracking day, and we finally got the tide out. I tried to do this walk five times last time I was here, and not once did I get a perfect tide like this. The tide was always right up against the wall. I'll put the link to that video top right of your screen now so that you can see what I'm on about. But this is perfect for walking on today. Quite a few people down here as well. It's definitely picked up in the last three months in Hua Hin and all of Thailand. In fact, when I got back to Samui, it was a hell of a lot busier than when I'd left. I got back just before Christmas. I've not made a huge amount of videos in Samui recently because I feel a little bit burnt out about, I mean, I've put up at least 30 videos of Samui in the past and it's also where I live. So it doesn't feel super exciting to go and do them videos. Whereas when I go to new places, we're seeing it together for the first time and it just feels a little bit more real lizard there, I'm not sure if you can see him. He's just chasing a bird out, he's off now. He's off, doesn't want anything to do with me. So six time lucky in who we're here. This, I could have walked the whole thing today, I'm not going to, but I could have done. But I am gonna hit that water. The water is glorious today. Not the cleanest water in Thailand, but temperature wise, absolutely nothing at all to complain about. Bloody lovely, lovely. With my poor old ankle. Okay, so while I'm in the water, can I just ask that you please, please subscribe if you haven't already, and maybe press like, drop a comment, maybe even share the video with a like-minded friend. We recently passed the 1,000 subscriber mark, but it's no time to rest on our laurels, and the road to 2K begins right now. Thank you all very, very much. Didn't want to go in too deep because there is rocks there again, and. Once bitten, twice shy, as they say. So I'm mainly just hanging around by the main entrance today, near the Hilton Hotel and the Grand Santara Resort. But it's a hell of a stretch of beach, and it goes all the way down. It's about four kilometers, I believe, from here to this which is what separates Chopsticks Hill, I believe it's called. It's what separates Hua Hin and Kautakia Beach. I think Kautakia Beach is a little bit nicer, although when the tide's out like this, this is a lovely beach too. Nice earthy kind of horse smell in parts of this beach. 
If you've ever spent time around horses, you know that smell I'm talking about. It's their shit, I think, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's not everywhere, but you get, you get a whiff of it every now and then. Doesn't bother me, just smells like horses to me. Way more tourists than there was before. But still, you've got your majority Thai people, which is, I like it. I like that. I'm in Thailand. I don't want to see 70, 80% white faces. No offense. For me, when I come to a country that's not my own, I, I kind of want to be around the people from that country. I want enough foreigners that I can have a chat and that the locals will speak English. But it's nice to feel like you're in a foreign country. In Koh Tao, we're already outnumbering the Thai people, I would say. Okay, so that's enough stalling. It's time to head north and visit Venice, Thai style. Okay, so we're here now outside the Venetia, which is, as I say, around 10 minutes north of the main town of Hue Hin. Now, this attraction has actually been closed for the past two years for obvious reasons and literally reopened yesterday. So we're going to go inside and see what the state of play is. Now, as you can probably hear, this is situated right on the side of the motorway which separates Hua Hin and Cha Am. So it's very easy to find and it's located directly next door to the Palm Hills Golf Course, which I covered in an earlier video. So it is very easy to find. Okay, without any further ado, let's go inside and check it out. This main entrance has a carnival or circus kind of thing. Okay, so because they just reopened, a few of the things aren't working right now. And so the, the maximum package price is 200 baht. And it includes the fantasy land, the upside down house, photo with the king and the queen, and the train, but the train actually isn't running today because they said it's got a problem with the battery. So this is their gift shop. Now, I just paid 50 baht to just come in and have a look, but I might end up paying more to go to them places. We'll see. Um, also, the 50 baht is redeemable. They said in the shop, if you buy something, they'll take the 50 baht off the price. So it is, in theory, free to come in here. Which is where we want to go. Ooh, I'm no sooner in the door and I've spotted a hottie. Let's go for a chat. All right, love. You want to come down for a chat? All right, there's no need to ignore me. So the, the package that they've got does not include a ride on a gondola. The ride on the gondola is 250 on its own. I think maybe this 3D art gallery isn't open yet. So I'm gonna do this clockwise, I think. Well, they've done a good job replicating the cleanliness of the water into Venice, if you know what I'm talking about. It's an absolute cracker today in Hua Hin. It's got to be in the 30s I would have imagined. It's very very hot. So this is one of the things that is being renovated, or at least it says it is being renovated, it's locked. It's been closed for two years, so they've had plenty of time to perform any renovations that were required. But what do I know? So this is your carnival. And I'm guessing this is one of the things you have to pay to enter, which I haven't done. Actually looks like it's blocked off as well, to be honest. And some Van Gogh there. Or Van Gogh, if you prefer. I was taught Van Gogh when I was a kid. People say Van Gogh now, don't they? Alright, so I think this is the cafe that if I go into... Uh, it is the one. It's called 2-2. Two -two. 
so I can get a 50 baht reduction on whatever I buy inside there and I definitely will be going in for a drink after I've had a bit of a walk about this is your train that's currently broke down should have the batteries not working on it 50 baht to ride on that under normal circumstances but obviously if you've got the package it's for free so this it's still got the vibe of something that's literally just reopened and it is pretty pretty quiet in here as you can see especially given we're still in the Songkran festival week at the minute and Hua Hin's pretty busy down on Kautakia beach yesterday there were loads of people but I guess hanging out on the beach is nice and free hello my dear bella bella It's a nice design, this is a nice idea for a nice simple tourist attraction and I'm guessing on happier times all these all these were individual stalls and shops so this is supposed to be like a shopping centre it's a tourist attraction as well but it's supposed to be a shopping centre that's just got a few um, in-house facilities as well under normal circumstances you know this might be a clothes shop and you might have an ice cream store i mean i don't need to go too in depth you know what a shopping center is surely and it's a sign of the times but like i say it literally just opened yesterday after two years so presumably anyone that was renting here has let their deal expire by now probably knew better than to jump straight in on opening day but hopefully we can revisit here in about six months and a year and we're gonna see these thriving fingers crossed fingers crossed <coughs> see the old love so I assume most of you will already know what these are for but you know if you fall in love with someone and you buy this and normally you write your names on it and then you lock it on and it's the theory is it'll stay there forever I wonder how many of these couples are still going strong parts of this are well made and quite beautiful size of the arms on this fella I want to arm wrestle him alright mate fair enough so again whatever attraction this was it isn't at the moment a lot of places claim to be under renovation I don't think it's renovation I think it's a case of no one's renting them anymore I beg your pardon so this was a little Oh, it still is. It still is a zoo. Nice one. I'm no activist. But that's not... Not superb um, place for horses to be, is it? They like to graze, you know. And that's sort of a slab of concrete that they stood on there I mean that is that is I saw I guess earth very hot you can see they're both just standing in the shade and this one looks like he's got his ribs showing now again I, I'm not I'm no activist but I do love animals and I don't like that I can see this one's ribs 
and I can really see them. Not sure the camera's getting it properly, but you can see its spine and everything. Hello, aren't you lovely? You need a good feed though, love. You need a good feed, you do. It does seem odd to me that that one is... Maybe it's unwell, because to be fair, this one does look well fed. Not fat, but adequately fed. As does this one over here with the white mane, the blonde mane. Lovely blonde hair on that one. And a big old set of bollocks too, look at them. Fucking hell. So, it's been closed for two years. If you were about to open, wouldn't you have said to the builders, um, the old bags of cement and that, and the, and the you know, the rubbish. Any chance you could pick that up before we open? Been closed for two years. But um, I guess it didn't come up. Ah, a gondola. I need to get up on the bridge now and get a decent shot of that. 250 baht to ride on that. It's maybe 50 meters long. So you'd be on and off within a couple of minutes. Buddy cab. Let's go see what this 2 2 restaurant's all about. Spend my 50 baht. Yeah, it's, um, I, I like it here. It's, it's quite beautiful and it does remind me of Europe, obviously, as it would. It's also a little bit sad because of just the way things are right now. Um, most of the stalls are, are closed, there's barely anyone here. Um, the people who I have seen, by the way, were all Thai. Oh no, I did see one guy in, in the King and Queen place taking the photo. He was white, or Western. So yeah, I'm gonna go in here now. They didn't have drinks in that last shop, so I'm gonna go in here, get myself some Italian soda. Most of the flavors of the Italian soda are not available. I managed to get the strawberry one, but they're, um, they're acting like they don't know what to do, so. Let's see what this is going to taste like. Mm, this little tart. The drink, not the girl that served me. Okay, let's continue our tour of the Venetia. And who are here? So these um, pedalos, if we actually they're not pedalos, you use your arm. Would that still be a pedalo? Let me know in the comment section. 50 baht to go around in this little swimming pool. I don't know, my kids would be getting sold now. Also 50 baht. So again, in, in happier times and hopefully in the future, these will be all individual kiosks doing their own thing. I guess. Might have someone back here doing a little bit of cabaret. It's not bad. It's not bad in the end, that drink. I 
think when this place is busy and it has more going on and the shops have reopened, it's going to be a cool place to come and spend a full afternoon. Right now about 30 minutes is probably enough. But look, it's a positive sign that these places are reopening and, and trying again after such a long period of being closed. So that's it lads, the Venetia in here we're here and you still have to wear masks indoors which is why I've popped this on. Um, that's it for this week, take care of yourself, I'll see you again next week, I've got a story for you, I'm going to start telling you my little story. See ya.